The Vogue here is Broad Ripple's oldest continuously operating business. And for the last 30 years, one man, owner Steve Ross, has been keeping the place rocking with local bands and national acts like the Wood Brothers and Sister Hazel. Filling this hall for 30 years with acts big and small is a trick no other Indianapolis music club has been able to duplicate. That kind of success takes a little magic. Steve Ross started learning those tricks while working for his brother. And I came here and I did everything, you know, bartend, front door, security. I, did, I was a waitress one night. That it didn't work. Um, so I loved it. Let's see. So it was five years later, my brother was done with the Vogue and he said, you want to buy the Vogue? And we said, hell yeah. One important trick Steve learned early on. The phrase up close and personal is a big part of the Vogue. Another trick, having an ear for groups on their way to superstardom. Wow, monster groups. Um, you know, more currently, probably Dave Matthew Band, Dave Matthews, um, Avet Brothers. Um, you know, you, you start to go back and look at Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Sheryl Crow. Um, Mellencamp. Mellencamp, Pink, um, Queens of the Stone Age. Um, Katie Tunstall. Katie kind of. Tunstall, you know, going way back, Frank, Frank Zappa, the Ramones, right. um, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And this disco ball has seen them all. <laughs> Tell me about that ball, it's been here forever. That ball, yeah, the club is 40 years old and so is that ball. But everybody loves it. I mean, some of the bands that come in here, they say, we don't use a mirror ball, but we want you to use that one tonight. <laughs> and if this ball could talk, the stories it could tell. Like uh, Ted Nugent, he wanted to bring a, a VW, you know, a VW bug and put it on stage and destroy it. Nah, that didn't work. He, <laughs> they were starting to pull it in the back. Uh, Wendy O. Williams, the same thing. She wanted to bring a chainsaw on stage and do something with it. Nah. Crazy stories like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, they, they're, they're encore. All they were wearing were uh, old tube socks on their Johnson. That's all they had on. Actually, these walls have heard a lot more than music. The Vogue was a movie theater when it opened its doors in 1938. Back then, it was regarded as one of the premier movie theaters in the Midwest. Carl Nessie built the theater. He was an area rep for 20th Century Fox, and apparently he was well-liked among the stars in Hollywood. The stars loved him so much that they took this bronze star and basically etched their signatures onto it and gave it to him. And it says, to our who's your friend, Carl Nisi. And it's got everybody from Clark Gable to um, Joan Blondell to um, Shirley Temple, I mean, all the greats. Thanks for giving us your Saturday night, you're the best. Cheers. Through Broad Ripple's ups and downs, the Vogue has been a constant beacon. You know, people have said the Vogue is the lighthouse, and, and I say that, you know, I, it's hard for me to say that because I'm a real humble guy, mm -hmm. but yeah, at times the Vogue has been. Oh, absolutely. When, when nothing else is going on, right. we've got our marquee on. After 30 years of keeping that musical light burning, Steve has some favorite memories. Who do you, you know, come oh, in and wow. go, all right, I really want to see that one. So, yeah, so I was here for the Doobie Brothers. Um, here Come the Mummies are just unbelievable. Um, I love Dweezil Zappa, mm -hmm. only because I've, I've kind of bonded with him personally, as well as, you know, I mean, his, the music that he's playing of his playing father's his stuff, is yeah. great. Um, you know, J.J. Gray is excellent. Yeah, I mean, uh, seeing Mellencamp here, and um, yeah, that's... Just great memories. Great memories indeed. And the next time you're here making your own musical memories, take a moment and check out the Bronze Star. And remember how important the Vogue has been to Broad Ripple and to Indianapolis. For Great Day TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer. <laughs>